game. Great combos coming through as well to find those picks. The fact that he's able to find Jackie Love in that final fight as well. Absolutely miraculous stuff. And uh, we are going to catch up to the live feed now. We were slightly behind from the previous series, but guess what? We're going to skip our break in order to catch up to the live feed. And in the meantime, Wei Wei moves up to the top side straight off of the bat. We begin with action here. 369 will be stunned. The flash, oh, actually buffers the stun coming out from Wei Wei. A 369 survives. Ooh, just about gets our the. Let's go. Going for Excellent. a long trade on cream here. Nicely done, actually. Let's get some good damage. And again, I want to also highlight Wei Wei from the previous game because he was the unsung hero. It happens a lot in the jungle that you're setting up your lanes for success, but your laners happen to be a lot more flashy than you playing Sazuani, so they end up yoinking the MVP from you. Wei Wei was everywhere. He was making sure he was securing vision. He was securing neutral objectives. He was ganking at the perfect timing. He was there for his laners when they were getting ganked to shadow them. He was crashing waves. He was soaking waves when they were dying. Absolute insanity of a Sejuani game in game number one. 3 1 and 17, if I'm not wrong. Excellent stuff. Now, again, onto the Sejuani. He has double melee AD laners. This guy is going to be leaving towards the top side of the map. Yeah, Sika was uh, a quiet carry for LNG in the previous game. Remember, he was able to pressure that tier two in the bot side so early on in the game. Got off to a tremendous individual lead. Of Pretty much kept 369 out of the game entirely. Scout had a fantastic, I mean, MVP performance on the Yone. So it makes sense to have that Sejuani once again to set these solo laners up. Gala on the Ziggs this time around. Quite a different composition overall. As TN moves into that top side, Zika does have that flash available. Ooh, nice Ooh. try for TN. Can't quite find it though. Proxy electrocute. Quite poked in lane for Zika right there. Uh, walk, walks up to Tiana as well. Tiana's like, you know what? If you're willing to take that trade, I'm down to have it. Just about close enough to that try bush to put that wall down. Reminder, Zika does have his flash available, but his wave was not at the best state right there. Tiana is going to stick around. He's got, he has two camps available, third one spawning. He's going to choose to stick around, see if Zika overextends right here, maybe. Try to punish, but again, oh, no. look what's happening on the other side. It's the same as game number one. TN overstays his welcome towards tops of the map, trying to punish Zika, who has the flash. No. And they oh, lose Dragon, Jackie Love. Lots of Jackie Love as well. Gala, really nice W there. Flash from Mako, answered by Gala as well. A slow one to Jackie yeah. Love from the Hextech minefield, but won't be followed up by Gala. TP from Zika up to that top side. Do you know? In my head, that was going to a ward in bot lane because the observers had gone to him in the middle of a fight. <laughs> That's not even possible anymore. It's just old habits die hard, I guess. Hung ignited. Is he going to go down? Is Mako going to try for a little bit more? Hung backs away from the tower. Will survive. LNG surviving in that bottom side as Wei Wei wants to do the opposite to 369. He wants to unsurvive him in the top lane. Stunt's going to come on through. The buffer a little bit too early. And there's first blood for Wei Wei. Oh, great stuff from Wei Wei. I think he has been uh, a fantastic uh, addition to the roster. And this time around, he's just wasting no time. He's so efficient on the map. The second he's TN, he's taking something on the other side of the map. However, Scout, Mako just about in range for that E. Won't get it. This time around, he knew he had no job on the map. Heads over the top side of the map, punishes 369 for having no flash available to him. This time around, he has spotted Tien, but Tien oh. has two more friends around him. Mako's in the likes too. of Mako and Cream. Yeah. Don't want to go for that one right now. Wait, wait. That's been exceptional this series so far. Let's see if he can keep this performance up, setting up Zika this time around. And it's kind of evened up. A surprising uh, CS lead for a Cassante <laughs> against Camille in the lane. Scout gonna get died. He was too much of a problem last time around. We're going to deal with that Mako. Somehow his Zenith doesn't connect there. And now another Sabotage Jackie Love. onto Jackie Love. Flash forced in the bottom lane. Flash forced in the mid lane. No deaths going down. Top esports are gonna stick oh. around. And potentially try again. There's no Flash, no ultimate onto Scout. Wait, wait, suspect There's something. Wait, wait. They found him. Tries to get over the wall. Flash available, but it's too late. The burn. The burn. The burn. Oh, it's not enough. Wait, wait, walks away, wait. Oh, they're going back mid lane. 
Oh no! <laughs> Mako's just not stopping! Oh, what goes up must come down. It's like a lease all over again, just a million years apart. Scout somehow surviving. The sustain from Hung is insane. He's got heal as well as the Rakan heal on his Glimmer Quill. Oh my day, Scout somehow lives it. Oh, this must be so frustrating for Top Esports. They're trying so hard to put pressure down on the map for LNG, and LNG has responded perfectly. Not only do they engage on the Jackalove, they take his flash, but they also save Scout from a triple dive. Let that sink in. Triple dive within an entire minute. This is absolutely ridiculous this is absolutely insane it's not that long since we saw top esports beat them back in june and yet lng they feel like a totally different team they feel like they've been revitalized i remember the lng omg series lng just about won it out but omg were looking like one of the best one of the worst teams in the league at the time and it still went to three it still went the distance that tells you where lng were back in placements but oh my goodness, are they here to show up today? They're two and zero in the group right now, and with a win over Top Esports today, that would put them onto their hat trick. That would put them to where AL were at the start of the day, and potentially give them a chance to fight for that first place spot. Was well, about to make a little bit of a comparison uh, between LNG and AL. Because both are in the Ascent group, but none of them so far had played a team that is considered top uh, top three in the league. And LNG are playing the second best team from Spring right now, and they are giving them a run for their money. The way they're defending every single play top esports throws at them, it must be so infuriating for top esports, honestly, to just throw everything at LNG and nothing sticks so far. They do have a lot of tools. They have a bunch of scaling. They've got frontline. They've got engage and disengage. All the tools are in top esports' basket right now, and they can use it or tool it, whatever you want to call it. And they can use it however they please. But having that early game and not being able to get a kill, triple diving scout and yeah. scout getting out? I can't believe he lived through all of that. I, I don't believe... know how you mentally recover from this. I can't believe nobody died on LNG either. Like all of the people that came to mid lane to help scout out as well, all survived through the onslaught. Absolutely phenomenal early game from LNG to just stymie the plays from top esports. Mako moves back in because one Zen plays turns the glacial prison and Cream now trying to get some damage onto Hunt. Scout looks for some return damage. And again, these plays into the mid lane just gonna be denied. I feel like Scout needs to walk up to his lane, considering that he will never ever be one versus one with Cream at this point. It's either gonna be a three versus one or no one's in lane. Uh, I feel like this was about like the sixth gank that they've thrown towards Scout, but Weiwei is looking at a very juicy flashless Jackie Love. No ult for Weiwei, does find the knockup here. Clem's gonna have to be used for the satchel charge means that the cleanse does nothing. In fact, cleanse wasn't even used. He just died. He was just gone. Jackie looks zero and one. Not a good series for the Superstar AD carry. Oh, LNG are just pulling top esports apart. Not only none of the ganks that top esports have thrown LNG's way hasn't stuck, but they also lose a member in the process. They lost Jackie Love's flash in the previous iteration of that mid lane dive. And then now in this mid lane, a gank they lose jackie loves life as well and you need something to be going well for you the 500 gold lead from cream has been majorly due to the fact that scout has had to be absent from his lane trying to recover his hp bar uh, from getting ganked over and over again and right now lng having that pressure through the bot lane you've got the satchel charge as well which is very close to taking down the tower bullet time has to be used from jackie love or they would be very close to losing tower or losing the life as well. Wait, wait, just got his ultimate back available. But look at this damage out from Jackie and Mako. Hunk forced over the wall. Jackie just needs one more auto and Hunk will fall in the end. Now TP? TP's come in behind the top esports lineup. It's a double TP as Gala re-enters the play alongside Zika. Yeah, Tien had already read that play, however. Helping 369 take that first top lane tower. Full turret platings and first tower going in the pockets of Kasante plus Brun. Good stuff right there. They're pressuring even tier two right now. 
You see LNG is gonna slowly start closing in onto this Cassandra. 369 is gonna have start making his way really over uh, back to base really or the they're gonna send him to base themselves yeah the cannon 369 it's what you're committed for you've got to get it at this point surely knock of land stun lands Q, Heine has his whole combo available the q3 cannon. used that's the w used the knock up is gonna fall again the, the cannon. cannon 369 he got it it's all worth it in the end 369 he'll fall scout grabs a kill but hey we got cannon we take those my favorite thing is how the observers kept zooming in on that cannon. I feel like I felt the observers' frustration that they were like, you're dying anyway. Take the damn cannon with you to 80 gold. He certainly managed it in the end. It was uh, an adventure in the top side. 369 having a really tough series for himself. As uh, this Cassante been counterpicked. I mean, he's actually up in gold because of all of the tower plates and everything that just happened with Zika TPing to the bottom side. And in terms of kills and in terms of who's going to be winning that side lane in a minute, definitely all the way of Zika. Zika with the counter pick in both games. The Rise versus the Kennen in game number one. Now, game number two. He has to go Camille versus Cassante. He really couldn't ask for more as a top laner. And you gotta have the chance to push a little bit on the map right here. Your Cassandra does have teleport. However, you don't have any other frontline other than Mako. And Mako has been chunked down heavily, as you can see on your map. 369 is already walking to the objective because she has to be there to be the frontline. However, LNG are first in the river. Hung searching for an engage. 369 comes in the bottom side. Top esports want to move in. They want to fight this. Bullet time is available for Jackie as a knuckle comes through onto Mako. He just never gets to participate in the play. And Scout now finds the fight. Oh! Fate is sealed for top esports. Phenomenal fighting once again from LNG. Cream tries to send and pack him, but with a double for Gala and blue buff in pocket, there's nothing top esports can do. Oh, LNG sacrifice their support, but they take everything else in the process. Gala. Three and zero. We'll be having his second item very, very shortly. With all this new richness that he got in his pocket, they grabbed the Rift Herald as well. Side lane pressure added by Scout to LNG. What incredible team fight that was. And Mako, Mako walks too far forward. Gets caught by Scout again, holding that Q onto Mako. And then the rest is history. 369, way to squish, and Scout finds it another insane ult. And uh, looking at the screen on oh, uh, no. the bomb left, oh, 369 no. dead. Cream is going to surely go down as well. Okay, Zika doesn't have one. Just used it, I assume, in the previous play. I would just quickly say as well, Scout, the Q3 flashed away from by Jackie Luff, but it's still hit at maximum range from Scout. So then the ultimate can come on through. That was immaculate team fighting from Scout Sione. Honestly, I think this is. One of Scout's best series, definitely Scout's best series in summer. Maybe one of his best of the entire year. I might be inclined to agree with you. I feel like I'd love to make a comparison, oh. but the, the fight never stops. Flash Cream. From Zika. Cream flashes the engage from Weiwei. I love this though from LNG. It feels like once they get control of a game, they're actually really proactive and aggressive. It's just when the game is fairly even that they play super slow and cautious. But as soon as they see those windows, they've got the tools to make them work. B69, again, that's oh twice God. this game. He's caught out trying he to goes. go for waves. This would have been a winning play for Top Esports. He literally gets engaged from Narnia. Um, Camille uses all of her spells, but Cassante so squishy compared to a champion that can chunk your HP so heavily like Camille. That is why he's picked into it as well. Thought that with the backup of Cream, they'd have enough damage. Now the next dragon's coming up in about 10 seconds. They're looking for a pick from the sort of top esports, but again, nothing has been sticking so far, and that is one of your main cooldowns for Engage, already used by Mako. Genuinely feels like LNG are just the better team today by what we've seen. Zika especially is going to have a field day in this game. He's got his side lane matchup is him versus Cassante. But even when you think about the team fights, like Brand, Corky, Misfortune, which of those is going to survive and be in a team fight when Zika gets a flag? Absolutely none of them. It's going to be so difficult to play against him later on in the game. And that's just him. That's not including the damage coming out from Gala. The flanks coming oh, out from man. Scout, the engages from Weiwei and Hung. It just feels so potent from LNG. Top Esports still in touching distance of gold, though. They're only 1,000 gold down. 
but it is three drakes for LNG right now, and I'm not sure in five minutes' time if Top Esports will really want to fight. I want to put a little bit of a of an eye on the map and on what happens right now. This is another tier two for LNG. They did this in game number one. 18 minutes, they take a tier two. They did it at 15 minutes in game number one. They just they've got a cheat code on taking tier twos early. Let's take it from the beginning, where the dragon was being started by LNG. You can meet more than one member, therefore, Top Esports can outnumber you on the map. The push in the mid lane was instantly deleted by Gala's ultimate. There's literally one auto attack from Jackie Love in the mid lane tower, and he wasn't allowed to walk up to put that down. So can't pressure mid lane, they can't pressure top because Scout is there, Perma pushing it, and then you lose bot lane in bot oh, lane tier TP. two as well. LNG is all over. Scout in the back. Scout's behind him. He's looking for his angle. I don't think you'll find it though with Hung Chung Tao before the fight really started. Herald comes down on my takes the damage from Carla. At minimum, it's the tier one in the mid lane. LNG might look for a little bit more. Nice from Wei Wei. Bullet time had already come through though. Mako now knocked up and Scout will find his man. But actually, Burnt to a crisp in the meantime. Tien, great combo to answer one for one on the tower stands. Yeah, 369 had to walk all the way from the bot side to try and defend his team. They do manage to shut down Scout and he goes in the pockets of 369, but I'm not sure that this Cassante though is the one you want to be feeding any gold to right now. You've got bigger problems with your AD carry being almost 2,000 gold in deficit. And let's look at this again. That was a great play right there. Gala had already chunked down everyone around. Nice cleanse taken away from Jackula by Weiwei snapping him with the ult. Scout will go too far in, but the end of 369 are waiting for him on the snapback. Wow goes in, must come back. And there he was. The new, uh, the new lore of League of Legends. What goes sideways <laughs> must go the other way sideways again. The classic. What snaps in must snap backwards? I'm not sure. It's like kind of like a snap, the soul yeah. ability, right? Snip, snap, snip, snap. To crow, uh, whatever his name is, Scott. Michael Scott, that's it. Michael Scott, secret agent. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yone, what a champion. What a champion. I gotta say, I am really enjoying watching Scout play it today because we've seen a fair bit of Yone in the LPL this year. It's not all looked great, it's not all looked fantastic. Scout really showing us how it's done today. This has been a bit of a masterclass. Did get caught in that previous play. Still managed to find his man before going down. But a good response from Tien. See what Tien can do with a bit more of a carry in his hands. He's got a thousand gold lead in that jungle. He's gonna have to go big if Top Esports want to win a dragon fight. Uh, Zika. Uh, Zika? That is not your jungle right now. Goes for a 2v1 on Tien and Mako. The CC chain is good. The damage just is not there. Mako might go down here. He jumps what? into him just to get cut in half. It's a two for one because actually there's a kill elsewhere. Gala managed to kill off Jakulov. I think they engaged on him in the mid lane. Reminder, there is no tier one mid lane tower for Jackalov to hide under. And you're playing a very immobile lady carry. You step up, you get punished. And LNG has been so good at finding the openings, even when you take one step more than you should, to pretty much chop your legs off straight up. LNG punished instantly with a kill on their own. And all dead even yet again. 4 0 and 1 for Gallop. It's had an amazing split overall as well lng seems to be having a resurgence all the members are absolutely performing to their absolute max here and mako level 9 to level 13 you're four levels down tien has to thread the needle on the spells as well and by the time cream is there misses the big <laughs> rocket zika i mean yeah i don't think uh mako realized that that was brock's jackie love yeah, that was a Jackie Love Me step right there. You see the Satchel going underneath the tower, walks a little bit too far forward. That's not the on. flash, doesn't want to use it. Just taking so much damage, misfortune. Once you lose that passive, it's really hard to play into a Ziggs. And Gala, one of the best Ziggs we've got in the league, has been looking fantastic today. 4 0 and 1. Huge damage available to him. LNG, though, they want this straight. Eight seconds on that one. Scout keeps using these jungle camps to try and get his Q3 ready. That Gromp is not farm to him, it's a tool. It's preparation is what it is. 
As he oh, moves forward. Flanked. Wait, wait. He's also looking for a flank. He's going to get over the wall here. Okay, no, he stays in the pit in the end. Zika, the only flanker for now. LNG just going to start the Drake off. They can put so much pressure on to top esports. Zika still unseen. He's behind enemy lines, but he was spotted. He was spotted. 369 has TP and will join the play, but he needs to get here soon because Zika is on the back side here. Has his Q3 ready as everyone dives onto the back line of TN. It's just removed. He still survived somehow as Weiwei in the pit. One HP needs to be there to smite the Drake. Zika on the back side goes down. The smite comes on through. And Top Esports, they find themselves the Drake and maybe the fight as well. Looking for more. A scout over the wall. And Top Esports, hold on. How in the world do top esports win this? Zika had the perfect flank. Weiwei ends up dying as well. They're speed running the Baron too. There is no smite on LNG. Four members. Brand plus Misfortune plus Porky absolutely melt Baron. Top esports are gonna start that one through. Mako is sprinting from base as well. LNG are possibly looking to contest. This is about to get spicy, isn't it? You can feel it in your soul. Top esports. They're on the Baron right now. Gala has all of his bombs and so many low health bars, but Mako has found a flank in the meantime and sets up for a kill onto the rat instead. Six escapes though on a satchel. Gala gets out of it and Hunt predicts the kill from Jackie. Look, it doesn't matter. It's still Baron for top esports. It's still a huge win for the boys in blue. Wow, that is crazy. 2 0 and 1 on Cream. Slowly but surely, he's been building up. A pretty good lead, and let's watch it again. Everything gets dumped onto Tien. This is Juani ultimate hits, Ziggs ult, Rakan ult. They wanted that jungler dead. By some accident, Tien survives this onslaught onto him. Zika leaves 369 alone, dives back in, kills Mako, and then they catch Jackalope. But the dragon that's blocking the entrance out there, LNG, cannot just go through that choke point, or they would get blown up by Corky plus misfortune. Gala loses his front line, therefore, he cannot put down the damage. He has so much power in his inventory, but if he doesn't have yeah. his front line there, he just cannot put down that consistent damage. And I gotta say, I'm getting a little bit nervous for LNG all of a sudden. That's a couple of plays in a row that have gone the way of top esports. They get that fight, then they get the Baron and escape from the play as well. Gala losing his flash for it. And now we're in a situation where it's 6 to 12 on the scoreboard, but the gold is actually in favor of top esports. It's a mildly positive Baron power play, but hey, it's a positive Baron power play. And I think if you're a top esports fan, you'll absolutely take that right now. Cream, 2 0 and 1. He's on three items on this core key. Tien has picked up a Seeker's Arm Guard as well. This is a pretty scary moment in the game for LNG as these carries from top esports are very much online. Another misstep. Things could start to go a little bit pear-shaped. Scout caught in the side lane, forced to use the Fate Seal defensively. Those are the kind of missteps that we're talking about. And now they're in numbers advantage on the Rift. Top Esports, they can push two lanes at once, burned up minions all over the place. Jackie Love and Mako should still be very careful stepping up. LNG are still super powerful with the items they have in their inventory. And Weiwei is right there to pull the trigger at any given moment. I feel like the previous fight, a lot of it came down to 369, how he held Zika on the side, not allowing that Camille to absolutely wreak havoc in, the, in his back line. Top Esports are gonna take that mid lane tier two pressure, one more wave. That was that inhibitor tower, but sooner or later, 30 seconds remaining, just about. Oh, Zika. Zika again on the flank. Okay, seen an award, won't commit. 369 finishes the tier two. Bot side, nice Baron play from Top Esports. They get two and a half thousand gold, and remember, we were saying it in game number one, Top Esports have been a bit of a slower team more recently. And in that game number one against BLG, they looked so disciplined. When they had the lead, when they had control in the late game, their macro was fantastic. The way they played the map was beautiful. Maybe they can recreate that here against LNG. 3,000 gold lead. Let's make go. I'm quite happy to just soak up that ult from Weiwei. Wei. And it looks like it will be resets across the board. We have a moment's reprieve because in 60 second time, we are going to see that Mountain Drake back on the map. And LNG once again are on that soul point. I'm spying a death cap that was just completed by Gala. LNG's whole composition is built around allowing him to shine. Zika being able to put down his ultimate means that a target will get absolutely blown up. That target 
needs to be either misfortune, quirky, or brand. Anything else just will not do. Zika was too busy with 369 and Mako. It just didn't work out in the previous fight. That Camille needs to find the right target. And LNG need to absolutely blow them up. This time around, Gala has what he needs in his inventory. He's yeah. at four items. Sorry, three items completed. Three and a bit. Let's see if LNG the, can uh, be uh, beefy enough in front of him for him to put down the damage. Yeah, the Oblivion all picked up as well for Gala. So a bit of healing reduction there. And importantly, Jackie Love just finishing off his LDR as well. So three items on that misfortune. These big team fight ultimates from the AD carries will be so crucial if they can find their marks. But like you said, if Tien's caught again like last time, he will not survive this time around. Hung, engaged upon by Mako, but Drake is already down to half HP. Tien committing on the top side. He needs to get in this bit. Try and fight for the dragon. He's stunned up, and that's soul. LNG make it look easy. They waltz away with an objective, and top esports just left wondering what on earth went wrong. Yeah, meanwhile, they had Zika not have to expand his uh, TP, pressuring down that mid lane. Very, very importantly, bunch of poke coming out from top esports, so you definitely want those extra resistances from the mountain. So you'll be very, very happy playing against triple carry as well. Having that soul in your pocket now. Next objective, less than a minute. Baron. Mako is going to leave whatever vision he had in his inventory behind and head straight to base. Because LNG, you bet on those resets from top esports. They'll be getting into this river, sweeping up the place, cleaning it up from any top esports wars and taking absolute control against Zika. Very importantly, does have that teleport from the previous fight and have to use it so he can't be a nuisance on the sideline and creating pressure. Well, we always talk about these players getting those sweepers in action. But you, you'd think at this point, they'd have the technology to just hoover these wards up instead. Like, sweeping is so old school at this point, surely. We've got better than brooms. You know, it's not funny, but it's the closest to humor you're going to get. <laughs> so, take it or leave it, guys. Take it or leave it. Um, is that what we're going to go for from now on? Hoovering the wards? Why not? Maybe when you've Why got uh, okay. you've got Umbral Glaive, that's hoovering. <laughs> LNG trying to hoover off Baron and Top Esports don't know about it for the time being. They want to try and face check in. They thought it was maybe a bush bait. Okay on that Baron and the blue trinket will be enough to force LNG away. They don't actually want the fight and instead Top Esports are the ones to start the Baron off. Instead, Zika is hunting cream on the mini map, but I think spotted himself. Top Esports back away from the Baron once more. I feel like this is a fight to see whose TP can you pull in from which team. Yeah. So Top Esports are starting the Baron, trying to bait Zika's TP, but also Cream cannot overextend, trying to get towards the Baron in case there's a ward behind them. And Zika catches him on the flank. On the other hand, LNG are trying to get Cream's TP into the fight to try and then create pressure with their own on the map. It's not going to be the case yet. Again, to reiterate, oh. three and a half. Oh, oh. Huge. This would be a huge pick if Weiwei goes down. Jackie Love trying to chase it. Flash comes out. Tien actually flashes to get onto Scout instead. Bait seal gets him across the wall. But will it get him out to safety? He's slowed. He's so slowed. The Rileys is so valuable. Knocked into his GA. Oh, no. Top East was then overextended. Uh -oh. And now the punish from LNG taking them apart. Two freebies and 369 tries to turn it around onto Hung instead. Top Esports 3v5 here. They want to try and contest this Baron. I don't know if this is even fightable for the squad. Top Esports, they've done 3v5s before. And Mako happily charging on forwards. Baron peeled away from but with a Mountain Soul. Surely LNG are happy to tank it. Yeah, I feel like LNG don't really want this, especially since they don't have any ultimates to engage with. Every single thing was used. On to Jackie Love and Tien. This time around, though, Top Esports are going to throw their hands up in the air, pushing that mid lane wave and concede the Baron LNG. Punish the overreach. And Wei Wei is just clearing the woods. He sees a control ward while in there with Tien and Jackie Love. They chase him down. And I was actually not ex after the flash from Wei Wei. I was not expecting Tien to go that far. However, he sees Scout. He's all alone. And you see, during this, uh, during this chase, Hang and Gala had the chance to rotate through the map. Zika pulls the TP as well. And suddenly, it's a three versus five. So you were winning, 
until you were losing. The zone control from Garlet there. Everyone having to dodge back from the bombs and step back into harm's way. Beautiful stuff. And then the satchel charge into the wall to set up for Hung's engage. Magnificent performance on this six from Gala. Flawless KDA right now. And he is doing some insane damage in these fights. Red buff now. The target of everyone's ire. Hung steps up. Mako actually finds a Zenith Blade. And that's all he'll find. And suddenly, he's on the front line and he doesn't want to be anymore. Bullet time onto Weiwei. Scout now over the wall and he's found Jagulov again. How does he do it every single time? Forced back out of the play and Jagulov doesn't quite go down. These extended engages are so sloppy back and forth. So incredibly close. Oh, the TP, the TP flag coming in for 369. Oh no, Gala, he stayed for the tower. Can he escape? 369 is trying to find him, but 369 is going to walk into four people here. Well, first the CC gets knocked up after the fact. The damage is slow, but it is enough to finish off. No, all out and a flash into the top side. Tien forced away by Gala, who is still going strong. And in the meantime, Zika took a tower. And if you're wondering, oh. how is this still going on? How has no one died as Tien uses his stall ports right there? It's because these teams are dead even almost in gold. The gold defense was literally built right now from the towers that went down from LNG, from the Baron play that they've just created. These two teams are dead even in gold. And the most important part, there's a 3,000 gold lead on the mid-jungle duo of Top Esports. That quirky and brand hurt a lot. So when LNG really committing the all-in, the brand quirky combo, if it survives, they'll do so much damage in return if you misstep when you're LNG. Oh, it's a good day to be a fan of LPL, isn't it? Because JDG are back, and LNG look like they're back as well. Oh, we have more than two top teams now. Cream realizing that, Zika kicks him in the face. And that's a that's sharp a old kick as well. Elder Dragon on the map, and Scout is just soloing it, by the way, while Top Esports consider whether or not they want to contest. Look at the damage that's already been done by Gala. It's so hard to push into the six. The bomb's just consistently flying out, and everyone from Top Esports jumped to pieces, and Scout finds it once more. It's too beautiful from the LNG mid laner. Gala escapes. He's burning. He will fall in the end. It doesn't matter. But his flawless KDA is ruined. LNG, 19 to 8 as they dismantle Top Esports. LNG, do not allow access in the river to Top Esports. The bombs from Gala poked everyone's HP bar so low. And LNG with a very statement series versus Spring's second team in the LPL. Absolutely magnificent stuff from LNG. A 2-0 over Top Esports, over the team that many heralded as the favorite of the group. Top Esports now, 0-2 and two after losing to PLG, and now LNG, 3-0 and oh at the top of the table. Phenomenal stuff. Man, I don't know what happened to Top Esports in EWC, but man, Man, that is not the form we expect from them. LNG absolutely pulled them apart in terms of macro on the map, on a sideline, decision making. They dived Scout three times in one minute and they still couldn't kill him. That's yeah. a tilter. 369 having an exceptionally quiet series as well. These counter picks, the Zika in the top side doing so much. Zika had a phenomenal series. Game number one on the rise. It's not like a, a hard carry performance from him there, but just enough to shut down that cannon. And in game number two, that was a hard carry performance.